So check this out. Offensive Security, the producers of Kali Linux, has just recently introduced the Purple Distro. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today, like I said in the intro, I wanted to check out Offensive Security's latest distro called the Purple Distro. And like I said in the beginning, this is an interesting distro. It's basically made for defensive security, which is the opposite of the normal Kali Linux releases. And they call it the Purple Distro. And today I won't be doing a full look at the distribution. I just wanted to cover the article that talked about the announcement. And hopefully this gets you guys to check it out for yourself as well. But I will be doing a, a video in the future looking at this distro as well as checking out the brand new additions and all that stuff uh, that are included in this suite of security tools within the purple distro. Now, in the cybersecurity world, there are considered like two teams. Uh, there is blue team, which is defense, and there's the red team. And most people that get into cybersecurity, they wanna get on the red team because that's the penetration testing as well as hacking or finding vulnerabilities on systems and all that stuff. Well, blue team is the total opposite. And that's where you focus on the protection of the systems in your organization as well as your own systems you know at the end of the day and so this new distribution you know complements the existing set of offensive security tools that are used for penetration testing and security auditing so let's go on and hop over to the article and read everything about it before we move forward i wanted to ask the keep it techie fam to consider joining my channel membership by joining the membership you can support the channel Get access to member-only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, so this article is on Bleeping Computer, and of course, I always had a link down in the description of the video, but as you can see, Kali Linux 2023.1 introduces Purple Distro for Defensive Security. And like I said, that's Blue Team all day. So Offensive Security, has released Kali Linux 2023.1, the first version of 2023, and the project's 10th anniversary with the new distro called Kali Purple, aimed at blue and purple teamers for defensive security. Now it also says Kali Linux is a distribution designed for ethical hackers to perform penetration testing, security auditing, and cybersecurity research against networks. Yeah, and this has always been kind of left out as far as defense. Uh, everyone tends to focus on offense, you know, because they, you know, want to do the hacking thing. But defense is also a very important, you know, team. And so it says, with this release, the Kali Linux team introduces a variety of new features, including Kali Purple for blue teams and purple teams. Um, and I didn't explain that, but purple teams are kind of like in the middle, offense and defense. You know, they call it purple team. But eight new tools, warnings about Python changes, uh, Kali theme refresh, and more. So introducing Kali Purple. As part of today's Kali Linux release, the Kali Linux team also announced a new project called Kali Purple, a distro designed for defensive security. So I'm actually excited to check this out, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually about to download it now so I can get it in my virtual environment so we can go down and set up a virtual machine. I'll probably record something tomorrow. But it says, over the years, we have perfected what we have specializing in offensive security which is 100 percent true that's what they've always focused on uh, and that's why what i meant by earlier defense has always been like uh you know on the back burner so to speak it says we are now starting to branch into a new area defensive security explains today's announcement and this is awesome you know what i'm saying because this is an important part of cyber security at the end of the day if you can have the best offense in the world, but if your defense is trash, then you know what I'm saying? You, you're still going to get hacked. So defense to me is the most important part of cybersecurity. And that's why I really respect what uh, my man, Professor Black Ops talks about over there with policies and, you know, just basically 
defending networks uh that side of security he talks about a, a lot of blue team side issues on his channel and if you guys are not subscribed to professor black ops go down and check out his channel he covers a lot of information dealing with cyber security but it also says we are doing an initial technical preview pre-launch of cali purple this is still in a infancy and is going to need time to mature and that's that's true with most you know new distros or new uh ways of releasing the distro you know it does take a little time for them to get everything good up and running but they have a great base which is you know they've been running cali linux for a long time uh since back since backtrack you know uh, and they changed the name it's so I'm sure they still using that Debian base, you know what I'm saying? So it should be good to go. It shouldn't be hard for them to get this up and going. But it says, but you can start to see the direction Cali is expanding into. You can also be a part of helping to shape the direction. So this new distro is still in the early stages, but already includes over 100 defensive tools. So that's dope right there. It does have a bunch of tools in there, including Malcolm, uh, Sericata, Orkami, the Hive, and Zeke, and a dedicated wiki to help you get started. So that's dope. You know what I'm saying? You definitely want to check out the wiki. Uh, that'll give you some information on how to use these tools. Now, Kelly Purple can be downloaded as an ISO, which that's exactly what I'm going to do after this. <laughs> now, these are some of the eight new tools that they're uh, releasing that's included within Kali Linux uh, Purple. And it will be a boring Kali Linux release without new tools. And this release brings eight new ones to play with, including CyberChef and Acme and Orkami. I'm sorry. Now, right here are the eight new tools. So Orkami, uh, CyberChef, uh, Defect Dojo, DScan, uh, Kubernetes Helm, uh, Pack 2 Red Eye, and Unicrypto. And to be honest, I haven't played around with a lot of these tools, so I'm not going to sit here and explain it like I know uh, what these tools actually do. But there's a good explanation right next to it or a brief explanation. So Archimi and open source packet capturing and search tool, uh, Cyber Chef, uh, it says a Cyber Swiss Army knife. So it lets you analyze, decrypt, deobfuscate, and decode data using a wide range of tools. So that's that's dope right there. It says an online version here. Um, and I won't read the rest of them. You can check them out for yourself, but there are some Python changes and warnings. So, uh, the Kali team is warning that there are numerous Python changes to coincide with Debian's upcame, upcoming stable release. It says Debian is gearing up to do the next stable version, which yeah, it always happens around two years or so. And it's looking like it's, it could be this summer explained the Kali team. So yeah, they have to do those updates based on when Debian releases their stable version. And it says, as a result, packages are getting updated all over the place. Uh, active pack package man maintainers are upgrading their work to be the latest version. Otherwise, it's a long work wait for the next release. However, these changes may cause problems with PIP, uh, causing the Kali team to introduce a temporary patch that prevents the package manager from breaking system wide. So that's just some information on on the issues there. Now there is a Kali theme refresh, um, and I just looked at Kali not that long ago. I did I don't know a video using Kali or something like that. Um, but yeah, they they always have some dope you know uh, backgrounds. But it looks like they have some theme refreshes that consist of new wallpapers, boot screens, login, log screens including a new Cali purple wallpaper. So this is the new one right here. So that Cali uh, purple wallpaper. It says Cali Linux also added some desktop changes uh, with some tweaks to XFCE and that's dope. You know what I'm saying? You guys know XFCE is my favorite dish, uh, desktop environment. Uh, and the latest version of XFCE was released uh, December of last year. And then they also made some changes to KDE as well. Now there is a warning for NVIDIA, just so you guys know, um, the Kali team is warning that this release may cause or have some problems with devices using NVIDIA GPUs, uh, with systems causing the OS to become slow, unresponsive, and completely freeze. And right here it says uh, for NVIDIA users, this release might not be the best ever. So yeah, just be aware of that. 
um, you know, you may run into some NVIDIA issues. Now, right here is just basically showing you guys how to upgrade, you know, as well as how to get Kali Linux, the, the latest version of Kali Linux. So you can get the ISO, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to download the ISO, uh, get that. But you can also do some upgrades, you know, the full, full system upgrade. So this is how you actually do it. So check that out so you guys can get on that latest version. And then also, this is where you can get Cali Purple as well. So download the ISO image directly. They have that version over on their website. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I'm about to head over there <laughs> once I finish recording this. But it says, if you're running Cali on Windows Subsystem for Linux, upgrade to Windows Subsystem Linux 2 for a better experience. So make sure you upgrade Windows uh, Subsystem. And they even you know, show you guys how to do that right up in here, or at least check the version that you have. Um, now it says, while we only shared the highlight improvements of Kali 2023.1, you can view the complete change log on Kali's website. Yeah, and that's what I always do. I always go check out there, you know, what, what they, they, it's a little bit more detailed. So you guys can check out everything here. It says, what is in Kali uh, Purple? And so I won't go through all these, you know what I'm saying? But just check it out. Uh, they have a whole bunch of defensive tools. And then you can also go to the documentation for the defensive tools. I'll open up that link as well. There you go. You got pictures. You got pretty much everything up in here showing you guys how to use um, Purple Team, the Purple OS. And then so you can go through here and, and figure out how to actually use it. And then let's go back over here. They do have a Discord. So Cali Purple Discord. So join that Discord or whatever. And here is some screenshots uh, of the tools that are included. Yeah, and that's Alchemy or Orchemy. I keep saying Alchemy, but Orchemy, uh, Malcolm, you know. And then it also covers like the install and it shows you some of the tools right there. And as you can see, they're broken out just like in the normal Cali way. But this is all defensive tools. And I'm definitely going to check this out, man. It's going to be dope. You know what I'm saying? And this is why they covered those changes in the article. Um, but yeah, this is super dope. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, I'm super excited about this purple distro. I'm going to download it. I'm going to get it installed tonight. It's super late here where I'm at, but I'm going to go down and get it installed tonight. And I hope you guys found this overview useful and informative whether you are a security professional, a systems administrator, or just someone that's interested in keeping your own system secure, this Purple Distro is definitely worth checking out. And like I said earlier, if you want to learn more about Kali Linux and the Purple Distro, go down and visit the official Kali Linux website where you can download that latest uh, release as well as per the Purple Distro and find more information about all the features and capabilities. Now, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techy.